Today, I am showing you how I make my viral Nkobe recipe. This recipe is so easy and the deliciousness that comes from this Nkobe is one in town. Now, only Sizi Emifi give you this Nkobe recipe. So if you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. This recipe is in my cookbook, so the cookbook will be linked below. If you watch my last market vlog, which is a vlog ago, I went to the market and I went to buy cow leg because I was craving this Nkwabi. Nkwabi is made from cow legs and one cow leg was expensive. I believe I bought it for about 3,500 or 4,000 Naira. It is so expensive, but I was craving it. So here we are. If you want to watch that market vlog, it will be linked below. What I've done is I have boiled the cow leg previously. So I've boiled it till it became soft. It's as soft as I like, but it is not totally soft. So I'm just cutting it into little bits so that we can boil it again. I'm doing that because I like to get rid of the, you know, the cow leg odor. So once I boil it first, I rinse it off, take away all the juices or all the water that I used to boil it, I discard it, and then we start the boiling process again. So I'm going to add some salt to a pot, add the cow leg, I added a bit of pomo <laughs> and then I added some water. So we're going to boil this cow leg till the water dries up. That is why I didn't want to use the previous water that I used to initially boil it because once it dries up, everything goes into the meat, all the flavors go into the meat and I want it to be rid of that like fresh cow leg smell. So we've boiled it till the water has reduced. As you can see, it is almost reduced. I'm just going to leave it for a bit and allow it to totally dry up and then we'll go on with the rest of the prep. Now these are the recipes we'll be using for the Nkwabi. First we have Ihuru and this is calabash nutmeg, what you use for pepper soup. It gives it an amazing flavor. You also have some stock powder. You can use beef stock powder, chicken stock powder. It is up to you. We have some ground crayfish powder here. You need it for extra deliciousness. I'm using two types of pepper. I'm using this dry ground pepper. I'm also using fresh pepper. They have different tastes, you guys. Peppers taste different. <laughs> so I'm using both for this recipe. And then we have some utazi leaves. Do not confuse utazi leaves with uziza leaves. Utazi leaves are a bit bitter. They're a bit like bitter leaves. So do not use a lot of it. Now I'm going to be adding some water to the potash. We're going to mix everything together. This potash plays an important role in this Nkwabi recipe because it is meant to curdle the palm oil that we're using. So sometimes I like to sieve it so that if there are any sediments, it will remain at the bottom of the bowl. Now I'm going to add some palm oil to a pan. Then I'll begin to add the potash water and mix it till it becomes a vibrant yellow. I love the color of Nkwabi. Like it will become yellow. You are not putting it on the cooker. This is the pan on a tabletop. So there's no cooker, there's no heat applied. Just keep stirring and keep adding till you get this consistency. To season, we're going to add some of that chicken stock powder. You can use any other type of seasoning you like. We're going to add some crayfish powder. I'll 
add the fresh pepper that's scotch bonnet I'll add the calabash nutmeg, ehuru, and then I'm also going to add the dry pepper. I'm going to give everything a good mix. Just continue to mix till it is properly combined. And then when you mix, you can taste it. If you don't like the seasoning, you can adjust according to what you think you need. <music> Now I'm going to transfer the cow leg, they are very soft and tender and then we're just going to combine everything together. If you love Nkobe, let me know in the comment section. I feel if you've watched this video up to this stage, you definitely love Nkobe. But between Nkobe and Isewu, which one do you prefer? I prefer Nkobe because I don't like to eat like head, ear, tongue and eyes of meat. So I prefer Nkobe. Let me know the one you prefer in the comment section. And please click the like button on this video. It really, really helps me out. Now, serve it in a plate that you like. The reason why I love making Nkwabi at home is because I know the quantity I made and I know how much of it I want to consume. When you go to those bush bars in Lagos or anywhere where they sell Nkwabi, they sell it in this kind of dish where the bottom is very narrow and the top is just a bit open. So the quantity of Nkwabi you think you are getting is not what you get eventually. And I hate that kind of cheating. <laughs> So I always love to make my own Nkobe at home. That way it tastes exactly how I want it to taste. I have the portion that I really, really desire and I know exactly what is in my food. Now I'm going to garnish my ukobi with the utazi leaves. Remember they're bitter, so don't use a lot of it, use sparingly. You're also going to garnish it with some red onion, but like I said, purple onion because the color on your screen is what is purple <laughs> so this is my ukobi recipe i hope you like it the recipe is in my cookbook the link will be below thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye